Yo 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 guys. Welcome back. My name is Eduardov, and today we will create some trippy stuff. Don't use drugs. Please. Let's open After Effects. Nice. Then, let's import video. I made a few takes so I can choose which one is better. I think this one is awesome. Let's cut it. By the way I'm using 4K resolution for this tutorial. So everything will be slower in 4x times. Fuck this. And here is what I have. First of all, we need to track our background. And for that, we need to create a mask on the hand to exclude it from the tracking information. Duplicate the layer, and draw a mask using a pen tool. Well, this is not the best mask, but I don't give a fuck. Then, animate the mask, just move around the timeline and change mask points. And, it's done. Click here to invert the mask. Perfect. Precompose this layer, and also check here to move all attributes to the new composition. Right now go to tracker, and click on 3D camera tracker. Now let's wait some time, and I'll come back when it's done. Let's see what we have. Wait what? Good, now select all points on the background and right click. Create solid and camera. Now one the main steps, we need to rotoscope this hand. But before delete the mask that we have. Then choose the roto brush tool. Click twice on the footage. And now you can draw your mask. Select the proper brush size. And just draw on the hand you'll see how it automatically detects the areas of the hand. To delete areas that you don't need just hold alt, and click where you need. Make the first frame. Also choose here second version it's available in latest After Effects versions. Thanks Adobe for such a good update, and also set quality to best. Now just move forward in timeline and wait when Rotto Brush does his work. Do it till the end of the video, and always check if something is wrong. After you made it, it is very important to click on this button, called freeze. It will freeze all your mask, and everything will work faster, because after effects don't need to render masks again. Alright, now I need to fix some bugs using an alpha invert mate on the solid with a mask, because now the mask won't work on this layer with a roto brush. Okay, now it's perfect. Now, when everything is ready for the animation, we can add some trippy effects. First, let's rename our layers. Then let's add markers on the moments when the drops kick in. To do that just hold shift and type any number that you want.
Done. So I have four drops. Let's move forward. Sponsor and sponsor of this video. My personal website where you can find a lot of products. And where you can support me. Thanks. For this kind of effect I'll use Shockwave's footages by Video Copilot. But you can create your own. Just follow this tutorial by Andrew Kramer. I just randomly import some footages to the After Effects. Put one of them on the timeline. Make ADD mode. And turn this layer into 3D. Oh my god. My After Effects become Cinema 4D. Let me undo this. Dope. So make the layer 3D. Then hold shift and pair and this shockwave to the solid we have. Perfect. Now this layer stands where this solid is. Apply tint on the footage to change the color. For example pink. Beam. Then everything is very easy. Just duplicate the footage. Shift it in timeline. A little bit. Then hold alt on keyboard. And move new footage on the timeline to replace it with a new one. Duplicate one more time. Change the color and this is it. Now you can just duplicate all shockwave's layers. And shift it to the second drop. Maybe replace with another shockwave's. And change the color. <laughs> Okay, nice. Now let's add some contrast to the video on the new adjustment layer. Then create another adjustment and apply a deep glow plugin. Make the settings like this. And reduce the opacity to 65. Damn. I love the result. But this is not the end. Let's create new solid. And apply fractal noise on it. Oh. I think it's a good time to save the project. Almost in the end of the video. Good job. Make the settings like this, and increase the scale to make something like that. Then apply some blur on this layer, and also animate the evolution of fractal noise. Great, now precompose this layer. Also don't forget to turn on this checkbox. Now let's create a new adjustment under all shockwaves layers, and apply chromatic aberration plugin. Also you can use the free alternative, Displacer Pro. Here, choose a map with fractal noise that we just created, and make these settings. Now let's animate displace amount on the drops, from 0 to any value that you want. Do this for all drops. <laughs> And I'm done with keyframes. Looks amazing. Now duplicate the hand layer, cut it on the first drop, and apply the same plugin to make some blurry effect behind the hand. Also animate this on the drops from 0 to 80 for example. Now let's add some exposure on the background when the drops kick in. Also animate the exposure on the drops. Alright, we're almost done. Let's put our composition into the new one. Apply a slider effect. Open position parameter. Hold alt and click on this watch. Now type, wiggle, open brackets, 4 comma and now just pair into the slider and add one more bracket at the end now just animate the slider on the drops and we will have this nice wiggle when music kicks our bitch asses also add cc repertile on the layer to avoid these black areas and turn on motion blur i also made some changes to the keyframes in the main composition Then 
and let's animate the scale of the main composition on the drops to make the video more dynamic. HMMMMM, I want to add some more effects. Let's create a new adjustment under the shockwave layers, and apply Calorama effects. Now it's really trippy, oh shit. Also, let's apply hue and saturation and animate the evolution to change the color. Okay, let's add some more contrast and this is it. That's all. Now we can render your shitty video and show it to all of your friends. Looks nice. There are tons of different ways to use this kind of effect. Everything depends on your mind. I'm happy that you're here, and I hope you learned something new. Subscribe, like and comment if you like it, or if you don't. It's very important to hear your thoughts. See you soon motherfucker.